How's it going guys? Jake from Meatsource here. Uh, today I am going to be speaking about my computer setup, what I use for video production, general day-to-day -day tasks, and well, what I would prefer to be able to do gaming on, but motherfucker, I just can't. So um, today I'll be showing what I use and why I'm going to be upgrading soon. Basically, I use the HP Spectre X360 2017 model which is only an i5 processor, dual core, which means it uh, does the job and you know I can edit this video on it quite well, not as well as I'd like to say, you know, um, I do skip frames and all that kind of thing every now and then. So it's not the ideal setup but it is good enough. Biggest problem with what I've got here and what I was talking about with the gaming before, I use an eGPU. I bought into the promise, the promise of a, of a smooth and exciting experience with an eGPU and it just isn't that. It can be exciting, but is it smooth? Is it though? No, not really. It's good sometimes and pretty shitty most of the time. I'll go into that and I'll try and show you an example. Um, I won't actually be able to screen cap this one. I will have to record it from my computer screen using this, this camera. So excuse the quality when that comes up because the computer normally crashes from when, when this happens, so anyway, so let's us get into it. Now, I know what you're gonna say when you're looking at my B-roll footage. Jacob, you dodgy fucking bastard. Can't even clean your shit. How, how is that B-roll footage? My answer to that is, it's real, man, it's fucking real. The point of my B-roll isn't to be all showy and flashy. This is how this shit's gonna look like when you've got it set up at your house, when it's got dust and shit sprinkled all over it by the fucking dust gods that seem to live everywhere. I'm not gonna make my shit super pretty looking, unless it's something like a brand new unboxing or something like that, maybe then. But in this, these cases, for this kind of stuff that I'm, I'm reviewing, I want it to look exactly how it looks in my studio, fingerprints and all. Anyway, the eGPU box I'm using is the HP Omen Accelerator Box, GA01. Super good name, I know. Now, why did I go with the Omen Accelerator Box? Pretty simple, it was cheaper than the rest. It's aesthetically, it's probably one of the bigger accelerator boxes out there. If you wanna see dimensions, all that kind of shit, Google it, just Google it. As you can see, it's quite big. Now, the other reason I chose it is because it's got A, a shitload of USB ports, four type A ports, all running at 3.0 speed, a USB C port, and the lightning connector that connects it up to the computer. That's where we start hitting the problem. It also holds an internal hard drive, uh, a 2.5 inch hard drive. It's up to you. Now, we'll get more into that very shortly. The problem with this enclosure is it stutters. This is stutters like a motherfucker. When you've got too much peripherals pl uh, plugged in as well, as an internal hard drive. This Thunderbolt 3 connection can only take so much data. When I'm only running uh, like my desktop or if I'm video editing or something like that, it's, it's normally good, it's normally fine. Um, I can only run one input device through it at a time. So I've got my mouse plugged into it, but I can't plug my keyboard into it because basically this much data going through one cable, a 40 gigabyte per second cable, it can't keep up, it stutters. Um, hard drive access can be slow sometimes and when I'm gaming I will drop frames and I will lose control which is not what you want. Done a lot of research on this from the eGPU forum. I'll put a link for it in the description below. Basically you've got too much interface going on at one time. Now I've actually heard of other eGPU boxes that can handle this problem by you've got your PCI connection which is your GPU which goes runs through your 40 gigabyte a second Thunderbolt 3 and then you can actually plug in a secondary cable to your computer which will run the USB 3 hub. Now I've heard that this is a much better solution because you're not trying to force all this data through one cable. Now theoretically this should be able to handle it and it could be actually a problem with my HP Spectre, my laptop itself, because I've also seen on Linus Tech Tips where he uses a Dell XPS and he has a flawless experience but that being said he's only using the eGPU with some USB um, without the SATA connection as well. So there's so many little kinks and all this to work out here guys that it's just not a flawless experience so if you're planning on buying an eGPU 
I would definitely recommend you do your research first because not every eGPU and every laptop are going to mend together well. It hasn't been terrible and it does give a little bit more of a better experience. My video editing experience has been improved using GPU acceleration, but overall, I really wish that I never sold my desktop computer for this. I was going for the on the move type where I could basically come home, play my games, take a, my computer off charge and go traveling and do some uh, light production work. But it just hasn't been the flawless experience that I was hoping for. Kind of sad, kind of sad. Anywho. Okay guys, um, so I'm going to try and run Armour 3. I'll do Alien Isolation, full, full settings. Now I actually recently uh, reset my computer. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, so I've had to start a new game, so apologies for that. This is uh, boring for you guys. Skip that shit. Skip that shit. Now, watching this right now, you might be thinking, fuck Jake, this is actually a pretty good experience. Like, you know, what's the, what's the fucking issue? I'll, I'll show you what the fucking issue is. It, it, Knowing my fucking luck, it's not gonna fucking happen. E Ripley, what does the A stand for? Anus. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Now this game is actually kind of fucked, you know, in, in the in the best way possible. I haven't actually finished it before. Yeah, I'll save the game. That is also unfortunate. Fucking cutscene. Right, all right, all right. Yeah, get fuck out my way, son. Waste of water here as well. You know, Anus Ripley doesn't give a fuck about the uh, environment. Get some exercise. Who's this guy? Fucking doing his son. Good, Jake. I very much doubt it. Oh, phew. Fucking hell. She's a bit of a fucking mouth. Do you know how? By uh, not being a shit cat. Oh, fuck. Who are you? Oh, you're Taylor. Okay. Leave your contact. Oh, mate. You don't want to be docking. If you know what the remaining of docking is, you don't want to be doing it. Damn it. It doesn't seem to be doing what I originally said it's going to be doing, guys. But I guarantee you, it does happen. And skip. Oh, okay, guys. That's enough of that. Well, clearly that worked better than I was expecting. Um, which is quite weird, because every other time, I swear to fucking God, this motherfucker crashes on me. I'll try something that's a little bit more prone to crashes. Let's try Armour 3. This bastard is guaranteed to crash. Hey guys. Oh, I'm coming hot. Pull up, soldier, pull up. Alright, now this is where my frames will start to suffer a little bit. Armour 3 has never really been optimised that well. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm... Oh. Motherfucker! Well, that wasn't very fun. He was clearly an expert. Motherfucker had infinite ammo, I swear to god. Okay guys, we're gonna try one more time. Yeah, my camera just dis disconnected from my computer. And again, I'm gonna put this down to probably be in a connection issue with my, my eGPU here. Yeah, fuck you up. Fuck you up. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, that's, that's fucked. Oh, you slut. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, guys. Well, I was unable to replicate the whole crashing thing, which part of me feels disappointed because, you know, now I seem like a goddamn liar. But at the other same time, it's, it's pretty good, the fact that it didn't crash. So if you are considering buying one, there's an example of it working really quite well. Now, for reference sake, I am actually using a GTX 1080 in my uh, eGPU, which is probably a little bit of overkill because I'm only running an i5 processor in my laptop, so with eight gigs of RAM. So maybe if I had an i7 and preferably an eighth gen processor with 16 gigs of RAM, that, that uh, 1080 would probably be used a little bit better. But um, for this case, as you can see, it actually worked quite well, which is fucking 
frustrating because normally that shit doesn't work. It crashes all the fucking time and now I'm buying a new computer. That being said, when I do have my new computer with a uh, 8700K 8, with 16 gigs of RAM, this thing's probably gonna run really, really, really well. Not probably, it will run really well, so there's no regrets there. But it's just disappointing to know that um, after I factory reset my laptop, it seemed to have fixed some issues. The issues do exist and it doesn't mean it won't happen to you. Anyway guys, that was a quick review of my HP Omen accelerator box. Let me know what you guys think about in the comments below. Tell me if uh, you've had any runs with your uh, graphics accelerator, whether it's an Omen or anything else. Please like, comment and subscribe guys. Um, it means everything to me. I've managed to get five subscribers so far, which is amazing. I've only been running this channel for about two weeks and yeah it's, it's it's five subscribers that that shit makes my day guys thank you so much i wanted to uh, explain who these subscribers were it seems that they have their program uh, profiles hidden i know that one of them is Derek preble thanks man you are a fucking champion and there was a couple other guys that i i can't really remember the names of them right now but they are there and if you guys want to throw a comment in any one of my videos i will definitely give you a shout out Thank you guys, please, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.